all right so i say once again welcome to gccmi bible club um if you are with your book how many of us are with our booklet no one is with his booklet are they calling are you, are you with your booklet your bible lesson manual no you don't have it right okay are they calling are you i mean color day you have yours right no okay okay all right so we have just noah and color day don't worry i'll read out loud you get it but please tell mommy and daddy to help you grab a copy they should ask auntie joy auntie joy will get it to them all right so i don't know the one that um um noah has or color but if you go to page 21 page 21 or page 23 can you flip to those pages page page 21 are you there it's ah, ah, why is it downstairs? I thought you went to get it. No, we don't have any use for it downstairs. You need to bring it upstairs. Awesome. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, mommy. All right. Um, we okay. So, um, when mommy comes, I need you to flip to page 21. What about you, Noah? Are you, are you on page 21? No, are you on page 21? All right, okay. You should see Jesus feeds 4,000 men. Can you see that? Can you see? 21, I said 21, 21. Flip to page 21. Are you there? Just leave uh, lift over a, a, a leaf and then you should be there can you see jesus feeds four thousand men yes please page 21 page 21 you see jesus feeds four thousand men all right so yes can we get on with it color did you have yours Okay, she's not here brought it yet. All right. Okay, let me just continue. When mommy comes, just signal. Tell me you have it, and I will tell, help you open to the page. Huh? All right. Yes. So, yes, I am super excited to be here with all of you today. Like I said, this is GCCMI Online Bible Club. And, yes, right now, how many of us have taken our dinner? Have you taken your dinner? I need you to answer me, Salvation. Have you taken your dinner? Have you eaten tonight? You've not eaten. Oh my! You must be hungry. No, have you eaten this evening? This evening, have you eaten? Yeah. No, 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 no. This evening. This evening, have you taken dinner? Yes. Oh, are they call you? Have you taken dinner? Oh, so salvation hasn't eaten. I haven't eaten my dinner. Kolade, have you eaten your dinner? No. Okay. So, uh, okay, are you in page 21? Okay. Can you see Jesus feeds 4,000 men? Yes. Okay, it's 23. Yeah, it depends on the edition that you are on. You, you are with. If you are with the first edition, is 23. The second edition is 21. Thank you so much, mommy. All right. So, yes, Koladi, have you taken your dinner? No. Oh, that means you are hungry. I have. I haven't taken my dinner as well. Salvation hasn't taken our dinner, and I am hungry. Oh, no. I am really. I am seriously. <laughs> Sometimes I get really, really hungry during church or during or while I'm at work. Or right now, during GCCMI Online Bible Club. So what do you think if we have a little snack this evening instead of our Bible Club? <laughs> would, you, would you like to take a little snack? Are, are you guys with me? Can you hear me? No, I would like to take a snack. I have a, I have a small bag here. 
And inside the bag, let me see what I have. Okay, I have this um, pop camera. caramel popcorn. Yeah, I have one of these. I have, yes, I have another one. Um, what else do I have? And I have this chocolate biscuit. Uh, but that's all I have in the bag. And um, we are, let me see. Um, we have a problem. Oh. There's a little challenge here. I have just, I have just one, two, three snacks in my bag. Can you all see it? Yes. I have three snacks in my bag here, yeah, but we are, how many of us are here? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, you have five. Hmm. It's not going to, it's not going to be, no way, no way. That's, it's not going to be enough for all of us, is it? Would, would it be enough for all of us? No. It will not be enough for all of us, right? Yes. Ah. Oh. We need two more, right? Hmm. And that reminds me of something. That reminds me of something that happened to Jesus Christ and his disciples one day. How he fed 4,000 men besides women and children. Hmm. This, the fact that I don't have enough snacks to go around everybody just reminds me of this story. And I'm going to read it to you. The story we can find in the Bible. In the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 15. Don't worry if you don't have your Bible, but you should have your Bible. But I'll read it to you anyways. <laughs> Genesis chapter 15, verses 20. I mean, Matthew, sorry. Matthew chapter 15, verse 29. Verse 29 to 39. And it reads, listen to me very closely. Hmm? Listen to me. Now, Jesus departed from the scattered, Jesus departed from there, scattered the Sea of Galilee, and went up on the mountain and sat down there. Are you guys listening to me? Yeah. Kolade, what are you doing? Listen to me, Anita. I want to see your face. I want you to see. I want to see your face, and I want you to listen to me. Okay, verse thirty says. Then Matthew, 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 fifteen, twenty nine to thirty nine. Then a great multitude came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the mute, the maimed, and many others, and they lay down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. I go again. Um. Sorry, I want to admit someone. All right, all right. So, the Bible is saying here that Jesus departed there and he went, it was on the Sea of Galilee. Israel, you're welcome. I hope you can hear me. Please put on your camera. And we've started learning and, oh, and yes, all right. So, Jesus departed from somewhere. He was on the Sea of Galilee. Then he came down to a mountain and he sat down there and there was a great multitude. The multitude is a huge number of people they were like they are, if they are like 1000 but here they are they were more than 4000 there were 4000 men there were women there were children they didn't count the women and children but they said the men were 4000 how many zeros are in 4000 how many zeros are in 4000 4000 that's a huge number right is it a huge number? Yes. All right. So then this multitude were with Jesus Christ. And there were some of them, many of them were not feeling fine. They were sick. Some of them were lame. They couldn't walk. Some of them were blind. And Jesus healed them all. He was healing them. So the multitude were amazed at what they saw. The deaf and dumb was speaking and, and, and could hear. You know, the lame was walking, the blind was seen, and they were glorifying God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And you know, Jesus called his disciples. He called his disciples and said, Hey, I have compassion on the multitude because they have 
now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat. Imagine, we were following Jesus for three days and they didn't, they didn't eat. They, they, were not, they didn't eat anything and they were following Jesus. They were following Jesus. And Jesus now said, I don't want to send them away because if I do, they might likely faint along the way. Israel, you're welcome. They might likely faint along the way. So, you know what? Jesus now told the disciples, where can we get enough bread in the wilderness to, feel, to feed such a great multitude? No, his disciples said to them, where, where are we going to get food to feed the, this multitude? There are too many. There are too many. We can't feed them. There's no food in the wilderness. Jesus said to them, how many loaves do you have? Remember, I was counting how many snacks I had earlier. Three. Remember, right? Yes. How many snacks did I have earlier? Three. Three. Awesome. Beautiful. You are listening to me. You are paying attention. That's lovely. Yeah, paying attention. And, but the disciples, they didn't have snacks. So they didn't have oh. popcorn and um, biscuits and juice. No, they didn't have that. Uh. His disciples said, we have seven. Seven loaves and a few little fish. So he commanded the multitude to sit down, like everybody sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down on the ground. And Jesus took the seven loaves and a few fishes and he gave thanks and he broke it and gave them to his disciples. And his disciples gave them to the multitude. Are we listening to this story? I hope you are enjoying the story. All right. So the disciples started sharing the food. Oh yeah, Noah, take yours. <laughs> Call her day, take yours. Mm. Daddy, take yours. Daddy, I'll take yours. Salvation, take yours. Call her, I did call ya, take yours. <laughs> Israel, take yours. All right. So they were giving them, they were giving them bread and fish, bread and fish, bread and fish, and they and so they all ate and they were filled. And they took up seven large baskets full of leftovers. That full of leftovers. After feeding the multitude, there was still leftovers. Can you imagine that? Now, those who ate these these were four thousand men, besides the women and children. So he sent away the multitude after they had eaten, and he got on a boat and came to the region of Magdala. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's beautiful. So, you know, let's look into our booklet. Let's just read a bit. Now, the booklet says, Jesus continues to show us that he can be our provider for both physical and spiritual needs. And even more, Jesus is our provider for our physical needs. That is your food. Your, your 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 water your clothes a roof over your head all of us we are all in our houses jesus made that possible he provided for mommy and daddy and then we are in our houses we have a bed to lie on and also our spiritual needs yes jesus teaches us a lot of things we are going to get to where jesus taught us things that are you know that is spiritual that is not physical as it were in today's story, I hope you are listening. In today's story, we can see how Jesus Christ demonstrated his mightiness by providing for the needs of the multitude. Remember, I said the multitude is a number of a large number of people. In this case, here yeah, there were 4,000 men and many women and many children. And so and he provided for the multitude that came to listen to him. You know, I told you in the Bible story that we read, there were the blind, the sick, the lame. Jesus was healing them all. He was healing them. We can see that the love and compassion, we can see the love and compassion in the way and in the heart of Jesus Christ by not sending them away. You know, he would have sent them away and they were hungry. They had not eaten for how many days? How many days? 
Can somebody answer me? Three. Awesome. Three days. They are not eating for three days. And, you know, he would have said, go home, go home, go home. You guys, just go home. Go and get something to eat. He knew that they were in the wilderness. The wilderness is a place that there is no water, only sand, no plants, a few animals, I guess. <laughs> and and he knew that if he sent them home, they might likely faint along the way. Maybe even die because they are not eating for three good days. Hmm. You know? And when Jesus did what he did out of his mighty power, he fed the 4,000 men and the women and the children. And there were how many baskets left? How many baskets of leftovers? Seven, five, seven, 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 seven baskets of leftovers. Can you imagine? And at the beginning, there was no food to feed them. Just seven loaves and a few fishes. But Jesus came in with his mighty power and he provided and there was more, more, more than enough for the people. He fed these people because he is sufficient for us. Jesus is sufficient for us. God is sufficient for us. Hmm? He fed these people because he's sufficient for us. He fed them with the word of God. Remember, he was preaching to them while he was in the wilderness. He was preaching, he was telling them about the love of God. He was healing them. He was healing them. And he also fed them with food to satisfy their physical need. They were hungry. Uh, like I'm hungry right now. <laughs> He fed them. Mm? So, he showed that he is a miracle worker. He is a miracle worker. Can you imagine? Seven loaves of bread and a few fishes. He's able to feed 4,000. Do we know what 4,000 is? Huh? Who knows what 4,000 is? The number 4,000. 4, you have 100... 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. There we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Imagine that. And that's just the men that they counted. The women, the children, we don't even know their number. Maybe they were even more than 4,000. Maybe they were 8,000 or 10,000. And Jesus fed them all. In fact, there was leftover. Isn't Jesus beautiful? You know? And all things are possible with God. All things are possible with God. I want you to always know that. Jesus prayed. You know, we prayed at the beginning of, of this Bible club. Remember? I want you guys to answer me. I did call you. I know why. I want you to speak. Salvation. I want to hear your voices. Mm? Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. You remember we prayed at the beginning of... Uh, of our Bible club tonight, this evening. That was how Jesus took the loaves of bread and the few fishes and he prayed and he gave thanks and he said, Jesus, I mean, Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you because it will be enough. Thank you. I ask you to, I ask you to bless this food. And then they, begin, they began to share it. And the fishes and the bread started multiplying. How many of us have done multiplication in school? Me. How many of us have done multiplication in school? Okay, beautiful. And the bread and the fishes started multiplying. It started increasing, increasing more. It became more and more and more. It, from 7, 7 got to 14, 14 got to 21, 14, 21 got to 28. And it started just multiplying and increasing and increasing. And there was more than enough. Now, what lessons have we learned tonight? One, Jesus, the lessons that we have learned tonight, number one, if you are looking at your booklet, you will see what I'm saying. Lessons learned tonight. Jesus is compassionate. You know the meaning of compassionate? Yes. Compassionate means having sympathy. Yes. Good-hearted. Kind-hearted, yes. having pity yes. on someone or something. Ah. Hmm? Yes. Jesus is compassionate. He's a loving God. He's a kind God. He loves you. He loves me. He loves Noah. He loves salvation. 
He loves Kola Day. He loves Adekoya. He loves Israel. He loves Jadel. He loves Jedidiah. He loves everybody. Um, and then with you. Yes, and he loves me too. Yes. And we should also show. Love my baby Timmy. Yes. 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 He loves your baby Timmy. He loves mommy. He loves daddy. He loves everybody. He said, salvation, he said what? He loves daddy. Oh, and I need you to unmute yourself. Oh, my word. I need to hear that. He said, he's, he's still muted. Salvation, he said what? He loves? He loves daddy. Yeah, he loves that. Oh, yes, yes. Zion is not with us now. Yes, he loves salvation. He loves Zion. He loves mommy and daddy. He loves everybody. And you know what? You two should. Israel, you said what? He loves the universe. He loves the universe. He loves everybody. Everybody. And another lesson we should learn tonight is just as Jesus had pity and showed compassion on those on those people that he fed with the um bread and fish we too should show compassion we should show pity we should show love to people that are living around us our friends our relatives our brothers and our sisters we should also show love to them because jesus christ showed us love we should also show love to them hmm? so we should show love to our mommy our daddy our sisters our brothers our aunties, our uncles, our friends, everybody. And even our babies. Our babies too. We should show love to them. Everybody. Okay. We should show pity. We should show compassion. We should, we should be good hearted. We should be kind hearted. Noah, where are you going to? This it. Thank you. Hmm? We should have compassion. Just as Jesus had compassion on the multitude. And he told them not to go. Everybody sit down and wait. Colada, you want to say something? Colada, you want to say something? Yes, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Yes, God provides. That's very correct. Yes, God provides for us. So if you can provide for someone, maybe you have two biscuits and you see your friend and your friend doesn't have any biscuits, you can share, you can give your friend one biscuit. That's how to show compassion. That's how to show love. That's how to show being good hearted. That's how to show pity on someone. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes. If you not share. Um, 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 somebody will not be your friend. Yes, that's true. So, we all should share, we all should show love and compassion. Another thing we we'll learn today is we we'll learn that we must pray for everything and on everything. We will pray for everything and on everything. Remember, we prayed at the beginning of our Bible club today. Remember? When you want to eat, you should do what? You should do what? Pray. pray. Your food is not too sweet for you not to pray before you eat it. Even if it's ice cream. Pray. Pray. And then you take, and you, and you take your ice cream. If it is rice, you pray and you take it. If it is your juice, your snacks in school. You do what? You do what? Yes. If someone... Yes. You want to say something? Yes. No, I said what? If you don't have snacks, you go and tell your teacher. You speak French. Huh? Who can speak French? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Thank you, Noah. Thank you for telling me that. Thank you so much. All right. So, guys, um, I told you the second lesson you would go home with today is 
you must pray for everything and on everything. Your food, your juice, your snacks, you pray. When you wake up in the morning, you do what? Pray. When you want to sleep at night, you do what? Pray. When you want to write your exams, you do what? Um, when when you're not feeling too well, you're not feeling too strong, you're a little down, what do you do? Pray. Pray. Pray to make you grow bigger. When um, your teacher has given you homework and you don't quite understand this, what do you do? Pray. Everything you do, pray. Pray. All the time. Remember that. Oh, you see it, you see it. All right, the third thing we'll be going on it is we should trust that God can provide all our needs. All, all our needs. Good job. God can provide all our needs, no matter how small. God can provide you with a pencil. God can provide you with a house or a big car. Mm? Uh -oh. God can provide you with food. He can provide you with clothes. Mm? Always remember that our God can provide. Just like how God provided for the multitude, the 4,000 men and the women and the children. God can provide for everything that you need, for everything that mommy needs, for everything that daddy needs, everything that Zion needs and salvation needs, everything that Israel needs, everything that Adekoya needs, everything that Kolade needs, everything that Noah needs, everything we need, God can provide and God will provide. All right, everything that Jedediah and Jedediah needs, God will provide. So, I'm going to share my screen now. We're going to watch something very quickly. You said Noah. What did you say? Oh, God dearly bless you. Everything that Auntie Ruth needs, God will provide. Thank you so much, Noah. I completely left myself out. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, thank you so much for reminding me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um... Noah, everybody, I'm going to share my screen. What screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. I can't see. I can't see you. All right, I'll stop sharing and I'll share again. I can see your screen. Can you see it now? Yes. Wow. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see it now? Yes. Awesome, beautiful. Jade, come on. Jade, come on. You know, the multitude, Jesus helped the multitude get food and, you know, they, they ate. They ate, you know, uh, um, like I said, you know, like I said before, Jesus was compassionate. And so you should be compassionate. You should have pity on people. You should help people, help mommy and daddy, help your sister, help your brother, help your friends, wherever you find yourself. If anybody needs help. Or somebody is hungry and you have a lot to eat you can share you can share that's how to show compassion just like jesus shared prayed on the food and the food was able to feed so many 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 people another thing i said is we must pray on everything and on everything when you want to eat you do what are we still here when we want to sleep we do what when well, we want to take ice cream, what do we do? Pray. When well, we want to write an exam or a test, we do what? Pray. When we want to... Give me, give me some other examples. Give me some other examples. Writing. When we want to write. Yes, Kolade. Somebody... 
Somebody said when we want to write, we can pray. Okay. God are they yes? Yes, when you are confused, you don't know what to write, you don't know how to do your work, you should pray. Yes, any other person? Are they call you? Can you give me an example? Yes, you pray. Thank you. When you are, when you are, sorry, Israel, I didn't get that. When you are happy, when you are sick, yes, when you are not feeling fine, you pray. Very good, very good. I love that. Salvation, you want to say something? Hey, mommy, salvation, please help us. Help us with the mute button. Is mommy there? Wait, to call her I'll get back to you. Mommy. Salvation, are you there? I mean, tell help mommy to tell mommy to help you unmute your your mic. When when you're confused about something, you say correct. Noah, you want to say something? You want to share with us? No. <laughs> I my question is what what wh when can you pray? I told you here, yeah, our second lesson that we learned is you can pray for everything and on everything. So salvation, is mommy there? Is mommy with you? Oh, I would have really loved to hear what you want to tell me. You, you need to unmute your, your, bot, your, your, your mic and so that I can hear you. Ade Koya, do you want to share? Yes. Yes, please go ahead. Yes, yes. Some weeks ago, we did Psalm 23. That was two weeks ago, and it said, um, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green passion. He leads me, said, he, he leads me in the path of righteousness. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yes, when you are afraid, when you are scared, you pray. Beautiful. I love that answer. Oh my word. Salvation is mommy with you. As soon as mommy's, mom, mommy comes, tell her to help you unmute the button. I want to hear what you have to say. Okay, yes, mommy's yes, here. Yes, yes. yes, salvation. So when can you pray? Uh, I, I pray yes, when you are cooking. I pray when I'm cooking so that my mommy's food will be delicious. You can pray. Yes, you pray for everything. Oh, later, please. Later. Also, please. All right, so... I think you have something else to say. I I call you. I call you. Do you want to say something? When you are shy, you have to pray. Yes, when you are shy, when you are not bold, you can ask God to give you boldness. Huh? 